Okay, so let's use these render passes in Photoshop. And we go to Photoshop and load this in one go. And there is already a script that is called load files into stack. And we browse for the images. And we just pick those that we would like to have. The depth pass, we will use that later. So I unload that by choosing control click. And now we could load the others. OK. And we choose OK again. They are now loaded as layers straight into Photoshop and we will just reorganize a little bit. So I will move the beauty pass below. And if we alt click the eye, then we could isolate this pass. It looks great, but maybe we would like to tweak some things. Let's say we would like to blur the shadow a little bit. The cable is awful. Maybe we could do something interesting with the button here. So let's see what we could do. I start to copy the beauty pass and rename this to cable. Then I go for the clown pass and mark the layer and use the magic wand. And now it's easy to make a selection for the cable. Then I go back to the cable layer with an alt click on the eye and secure that it, this layer is selected. And then with the selection still on the screen, I go for mask. And now it's the only thing that we have is the cable. And now it's easy to do whatever pleases us. In this case, I will try to make an adjustment layer. So I go back and choose the main layer here for the cable and go down under layer to new adjustment layer. And of course, you could choose whatever you prefer, but I will go for hue saturation and try to adjust only this layer. And to do that, it's important to mark this one here. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. And now I choose OK and it will only affect that layer there. Right now the cable is behind this window here. So let's move this a little bit. And now we could just drag this and choose a quite different appearance for the cable here. In this case, I actually as would like to bring down the lightness, make it darker. So I just move this down and have like a blackish cable there. So I'm happy with that. And if you bring back the original layer, it already looks a little bit better. To structure this a little bit, I think we should shift click these two and then a right click to make this into a nice group. So I call this cable. And now it's easy to turn on and off. Let me see the difference. Okay, let's do the same thing for the button. I go for the beauty pass. I make a copy of the beauty pass. I rename it to button. I go for the material ID mark. The, the layer there, magic wand, choose this area, go back, can turn that off, go back to this button layer, and choose the mask. So right now, if we isolate this one, the only thing that exists is this button here. We could zoom in with Alt and just the scroll, scroll on the mouse. So then we could do more or less the same thing. Secure that you have the correct thing marked. So I go for this layer here and not the mask. I go for layer 
adjustment layer and do exactly the same thing important to mark use previous layer move this to the side again and now we could also try colorize so if you do that it will behave a little bit different here so maybe we could have a yellowish color here and make it really bright okay and we could also work with the lightness here so let's say this is actually a lit up button then it starts to burn away all the gradients here so maybe a little bit left of the gradients and i'm happy with that let's see what it looked like with the beauty pass on hmm. so if it's lit up maybe it's like emissive so we would like to spread a little bit of light around this so in photoshop that would be easy we could just go for this layer and double click and bring up the possibility here to an outer glow so if i go for that we could work first of all we could work with the color so let's say i will have to have kind of the same color there so I use a little bit of, of this to get the right color and then we could of course work with the, the spread here and the appearance so you just work with the values here until we find that we get an appropriate feeling okay something like that so if you zoom out again it really looks like it's shining there okay So I will do the same group here again, like we did with the other, with the cable. So I go for a shift click and make a button layer. Now it's easy to turn that on and off as well. So we have the cable and we have the button. Here we could also see that we have the specular and the ambient occlusion layer so if we isolate this this is what it looked like so it's only the highlights from the surrounding that you have on this layer and for the ambient occlusion it's the dark area where it's occluded other surfaces are keeping uh, light rays to lit up here so it should be darker so it's calculating a little bit darker. so we could use these also as extra effects here so if you bring back the other layers and start to work with the specular so for the specular here we could try to change the way the layer works so let's try with maybe screen so if we turn on and off now and now we can see that it's much brighter when we apply this layer and we could of course tweak this so I go for opacity for this layer and try something a little bit less and now we could turn on and off so okay so maybe I'm happy with that and you could of course change this as you please please is you occlusion so the occlusion layer we could also try to change the way it is used so in this case I would try to use multiply and see what happens so if I multiply and turn on and off we could see that everything is ex uh, affected not just the main body so I, I could use a mask here so we'll go for the clown pass and mark the body go back and mask this as well so now when we turn on and off the ambient occlusion we could see that it only becomes darker on the main body so in this case I again will change the opacity a little bit so maybe something like that and if I turn on and off yeah okay I like that so what is left to do yeah it's up to you maybe you could work a little bit with the shadow here and again we could use this material id the clown pass 
to try to, to change this a little bit. So let's see if it can work with the shadow. I start with the main layer and copy that one and I will call this shadow. And I would like to work only with the shadow so I will again take the magic wand and shift click these areas here go back and mask this out and uh, in this case I would prefer to apply this mask so I only have this black and white image so I go for apply layer mask and now we have this image here and now I would like to make a Gaussian blur before that I prefer to add a little bit of uh, the shadow here so the blur effect will be better I am thinking about maybe we could do something like this maybe this works nicely instantly so let's just do that and that's perfect maybe we could even brush white so if we go for white brush here so maybe that works nicely so when we now apply the gaussian blur it will affect this in a nice way hopefully okay let's see filter blur gaussian blur yeah something like that and now we can't we can't have it looking like this we need we need to mask out uh, the piece that we would like to have otherwise it will not be good so again we go back to the material id and go for the magic wand and go back to this one which had the blur effect and choose mask oh that's quite nice and we could compare with the original shadow so it's much smoother and um, if you would like to have the cable here visible again then you could of course we could change the opacity here for this layer so we could look through a little bit so then you start to see this coming back and it's still a little bit smoother so this could be tweaked a lot so an example okay so if you now add the button the cable specular ambient occlusion then we have a nice image 